hello to my little friend! There. It's been a while since my last Space Engineers video, since I haven't felt like playing the game too much recently. But a couple days back I got an idea I wanted to explore, and I think this is quite video worthy. As all of you probably already know, Space Engineers received a combat update with a multitude of new weapons, including the railgun. It's a high powered long range weapon with a very low fire rate. I saw this video on YouTube where somebody had made a circular setup of the railguns which I quite enjoyed and one day at work I thought about making a chain of railguns and having it work in a similar way. So inspired by that I think it's high time for me to check out the new weapons as well. So I quickly noticed that the railguns require quite a lot of power to work quickly. And if I made uh, the track a separate grid from the uh, chassis, I'd have to pack each segment of the chain with a lot of power generation. And this is quite bulky and ugly as well. So then I had the idea of having each of the chain segments connect to the driving gear to ensure connection between the chain and the chassis at all times. So I wouldn't need any power generation on the chain itself. I could just have a large pack of batteries on the ground. And to my surprise, uh, it actually worked. So here, each of the segments has a rotor and the drive wheel has some rotor parts. And when the sensor detects the subgrid below the rotor, it attaches it. And in this version, on the other side, I have an uh, arm that this uh, outer sensor detects and it uh, detaches the rotor. Sometimes this version gets stuck. I haven't been able to completely eliminate the issues with this design, but it's gotten better with every revision. So yeah, as this uh, outer sensor detects the grid here, it detaches the uh, rotor from the driver wheel. And then on the top here, I have this middle sensor detect this arm, which uh, shoots the railgun. With this design, I have to have uh, three sensors on each of the segments, but it's still much less bulky than the one with the power generation. Then in the next uh, design revision, I moved the detachment uh, grid from the outside to the inside and changed the sensor ranges so that when the sensor range hits, hits this block or this block it detaches it from the drive wheel. This makes the design quite a lot sleeker. Then in the final design I uh, added a piston in the chassis here in the middle so I could tighten the chain as I wished. This reduces the likelihood of it getting stuck quite a lot. Piston causes some slight uh, phantom forces.
but I somehow think you wouldn't actually use this this design in any any shape or form in an actual game. So it doesn't really matter. I uh, made this uh, six sided design out of the first revision but it uh, caused way too much lag and had quite a bit of issues with the chains seizing up. So I decreased the size a bit. This reduces the fire rate somewhat, but it's still quite a bit faster than a single railgun. I first turn on the drive rotors. Then I can turn on the railguns. I put this against a 32 block thick wall of heavy armor and it was able to punch through it quite quickly. It would be even faster if I could somehow make all the railguns fire at the same spot. You might wonder, is this uh, a good use for almost 60,000 PCU, to which the answer is absolutely no. Or you might ask, is this practical, to which the answer also is absolutely no. Or you might wonder, is this something you could use in a survival build or in an online server? And also to those questions, the answer is absolutely no. Since I built this in creative with no intention to ever use this in survival, I didn't really uh, care about wiping the ammunition. But the chain in itself uh, can pass items through these hinges from uh, railgun to railgun and you could in theory change these rotors to be hinges since there's a port on the back here and somehow route the uh, conveyors here to these blocks have conveyor uh, junctions here and then use uh, make the wheel a bit larger and use pistons here and then a large conveyor junction with a large rotor then you could in theory at least have a continuous uh, conveyor from the chassis all the way through the drive wheel to the chain and have the ammunition pass through it but, as I said, I really don't recommend you use anything like this in survival. Maybe one of these units could be, could be useful. But not, not the six-sided design. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Consider checking out my channel for other 
questionable content. Bye-bye.